of spring? Um, intense, you know, a lot more uh, intense. You know, and I can attribute that, I guess, to say to the coaching staff, they're on fire and we're on fire. Can you talk about that? Uh, obviously, the scheme matters, and, and that's all stuff you're probably going to get into more. Mm -hmm. But it is, is early spring ball today, especially, is it more just kind of about sort of feeling them out and seeing their oh, style? And It's a huge learning curve, you know, especially for us, kind of, like you said, feeling out the style, the coaching, and, and whatnot. And um, it definitely it was, it was huge for me just to learn how Tracy was going to coach me up. And uh, I, you know, we fit well together, so I'm definitely happy with that. And, uh, you know, things are moving a little bit slower than normal just because we're all learning right now. It's a huge learning thing, but it's, it's going smooth right now. Do you have any goal? I mean, any specific team goals? Or is there, I mean, is it hard to even look at it in terms of that kind of stuff going into a year when you have two new coordinators and so many different new coaches? You know, that's a little bit far down the line, just thinking, you know, goal-wise. I mean, we all have them, you know, Pac-12 championship all in the back of our mind. But as of right now, I think we're all just thinking on a daily basis. You know, let's just get we, not necessarily, let's not make it through the day, let's, let's make this day, let's get better today, you know, that type of thing. What is different already schematically for you? Um, well, we haven't gotten into everything, so it's, it's tough to say. You know, a lot of our stuff seems to be the same, just different terminology. And, uh, but I think, you know, because we're just on the base stuff right now. It's all base stuff, you know. So, you know, it's hard to say when we get into blitzes and stuff, that's when we'll be able to tell more. You know, Tony, at this point, it's one day into it. You know, you, you don't... You don't have those expectations. You don't have any, you know, those goals or anything like that. You know, but today and now going into Wednesday, today's Tuesday, and then going into Thursday and Saturday, is there anything that you're hoping to see maybe Thursday and then when you get pads on Saturday? Is there any, you know, intensity? Is there any one thing that you say, we need to up this for Thursday and then we need to up this for Saturday? I'm hoping uh, by Thursday, because we'll meet tomorrow and we'll iron out some details. I'm definitely hoping by Thursday that we will have everything ironed out mentally and we'll be able to play a little bit faster. And then when the pads get on this week, and then we'll be able to, we'll be able to play fast while thinking. You know, that's kind of the progression that I'm looking for right now. Yeah. Talk a little bit about in the backfield, Raheem not being there and what that what, what your role is now. I mean, with Raheem, we definitely lose a lot of uh, the vocal side. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's really not that big of a deal because I've stepped up a little bit this offseason. And then Dietrich, he's, he's opened up his mouth. You know, he's, he's getting more comfortable with the program. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, we definitely lose a vocal leader, but people have, people have definitely stepped up. Do you see you and, and Riley being able to work together pretty well? Oh, yeah. I mean, no, I'm very comfortable with whoever is back there in the backfield. I mean, everybody works very well together. That's that's definitely, a, I think, a strong point of our defensive backfield. And today was the first time I've really ever worked with Riley because we were in the same position last year. Yeah. So, and I was, I was very comfortable with him. We communicated well. It was great. Tony, you, you know, you're sitting back and, and you're, you're a player, so you have, you know, some say in some things, but, you know, you're sitting yeah. back and, yeah, new defensive coordinator, new offensive coordinator, new D tackle. I mean, what are you kind of thinking as players while all this stuff is happening during the offseason? Was it kind of an overwhelming, you know, emotional offseason for you guys just with the sheer breadth of everything that's happened? You know, I think uh, the team handled it well this offseason because it definitely could have. It could have got you know out of hand and you know mentally you know nobody knows what's going on that type of thing. Yeah. But I think we did a real good job just putting our noses in the dirt and just working. You know, and whoever was going to come coaches, that's what it was going to be, and we we're going to adapt. And I think we've done a great job of that. And I, I definitely think we've uh, we've had a lot more of a, a chemistry type thing going in just because you know our coaches left, so it was just us. So you know, once we bonded together, it was, it was an easy transition. Awesome. Um, finally. I remember at the end of the year last year, you were telling me, like, you know, you were pretty frustrated because you are like, we're not a 4-18. Yeah. Do you feel like that is a cloud that kind of will motivate you guys going into this spring and fall? Yeah, nobody's going to forget a 4-8 season, especially that's, that's my second one in my career here. That's hey, Everybody here is a winner. Everybody here has a letterman's jacket from high school. Nobody, nobody here is a loser. And, you know, we don't plan on playing like that. You know, anybody can make excuses, injuries, young, all this and that. But, you know, that's all out the window. We got, we got new partners. Everybody's healthy. There's no excuse now. Nice. Tony Dye, thanks, man. Of course.